Welcome everybody to another Dragon's Dogma 2 video. In this one, I'll be showing you how to obtain the Hunter's Secret Tome, which unlocks the Archer's Maester skill called Heavenly Shot. The ability is basically an enhanced version of the Dire Arrow ability, allowing your arrow to do significantly more damage in return for your stamina being drained. In order to get this, you'll need to begin a two-part quest line with Glindwer, which can be done once you have access to Vernworth. You should change your vocation to Archer before you start this quest, because during it, you'll need to use a bow and fire an arrow, and it'll be quite annoying once you're out in the middle of nowhere to be stuck on a different class. You can find Glindwer standing near Roderick's smithy, and can speak to him here to start the quest Gift of the Bow. One of the first things you'll need to do is gift him a bow, but it needs to be a human-made one. If you don't have one, you can easily buy one from the weapon shop that you're standing next to. After our boy is done yapping, he'll ask you to visit him north of the Trevo Mine Cave at a place called Mountain Ruins. Here he'll ask you to demonstrate using your bow by shooting a target, and he'll proceed to mimic you to learn the technique of using human bows. That's all you need to do to complete the quest and get rewarded with 8500 gold, 1600 XP, and a ring of proximity. For part 2, you'll have to meet him back at Vernworth in the same spot he was before to start the second quest called the Trial of Archery. Glindwer will go ahead and make his way to a campsite, which is slightly northeast of the mountain ruins that we were just at. Before we visit this area, I would recommend switching back to a vocation that you have leveled up or have good weapons for, just to make your trip through the forest and fighting enemies a little easier. You no longer need a bow and you no longer need to be on archer to complete this quest. Once you meet him at his campsite, you'll need to essentially escort him to the Sacred Arbor location, and by escort, I mean make sure he doesn't die. He'll be the one leading the way, so you don't really need to know where you're going, you just need to follow him. Eventually, you'll arrive at this hidden location called Sacred Arbor, and once you get within the perimeter of this area, I would recommend putting down a port crystal so you can easily travel back to this location at any time. It's a bit finicky about where you can place it, so you might have to try a few different spots. You'll then meet Talison or Talison, and you'll learn Glindwer's sister Darren was kidnapped by an ogre. And yes, it is pronounced Darren according to Glindwer, as weird as it is. No. Darren? The next step is again to follow Glindwer to the location of the ancestral chamber cave and clear out the enemies inside until you reach the room with his sister and the ogre. You and your group will huddle up and devise a plan, which is honestly really funny looking when you which is honestly really funny looking when you see the ogre holding his sister in the background, but like everyone else is just chill and talking. The plan is Glindwer is literally going to do the bare minimum he possibly can, which is shoot one arrow at the ogre, and then it's your job to rush over to his sister, pick her up, and bring her to safety. You can drop his sister off at a safe area of the room and kill the ogre if you want, but it's just a lot easier to carry her completely out of the tunnel by exiting the same way you came in. Once I picked her up, I just ran non-stop straight out the tunnel, and once you exit, you'll get some dialogue, and then you'll have to speak to Taliesin. After your conversation, Taliesin is supposed to give you the Hunter's Secret Tome, alongside a Port Crystal, 16,000 gold, and the Repeller Bow. If you don't see the Hunter's Secret Tome drop, you should head back to the Sacred Arbor and skip time by resting at one of the benches there for a full day. You'll want to make your way back to the same spot that you met Taliesin the first time you arrived here, and when you speak to him, he'll ask you a question. Since his dialogue is all in Elvish, when it presents you with a choice of what to click, choose the top option since this is almost always the option to agree or accept. By clicking the top option, you're accepting his escort mission, which is very easy to do because he doesn't need to go that far, and you can actually cut the trip in half by taking a shortcut from this road to the destination. As soon as I started the escort mission, I noticed Tallison was walking very slowly and he wasn't in a hurry to leave. So I went back to him, and he just gave me the Hunter's Secret Tome right then and there, without even finishing the escort mission. I would still complete it if I were you, because it does give you 120 Rift Coins. Once you've returned to a guild vendor, you can change to Archer, use the Hunter's Secret Tome to unlock the Heavenly Shot ability, and then you can equip it under Skills. If you'd like to know how to get the rest of the Maester skills for each vocation, check the playlist in the description or in the outro of the video. I have a bunch of guides on those already live. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoy the content, please subscribe.